Uh, same day, different wardrobe. Kind of. Fat guy in a tight shirt. I decided during this escapade of working on the gold wing that uh, being I'm working on so much stuff to do with aluminum, it gave me a excuse to buy it too. I went ahead and I bought myself a digital torque wrench. Um, I was turning the spark plugs in. I don't usually torque spark plugs and stuff like that. I don't usually worry about it too much, but everything I've ever had in the past has been a cast iron block. So you don't really have to worry about hurting it. You turn hard enough to turn a cast iron block out, you're really twisting hard. The gold wing is aluminum. So everything you turn, there's a possibility of stripping out the threads. I worry about that. So even though I'm a person that doesn't usually torque down spark plugs, I don't usually torque down oil plugs, different items like that. On the gold wing, I like to torque them down because I'm worried I'm going to turn them too hard by hand and strip out the threads. Especially when you got the crush washers involved. Because crush washers, for me, who I don't have a lot of experience with crush washers because most of my vehicles in the past didn't have crush washers. The feeling of them collapsing is eerie for me. So I bought a inexpensive but not cheap torque wrench from Harbor Freight. Um, I know a lot of people don't like Harbor Freight tools, but I'm not a mechanic by career. Um, my livelihood is not being a mechanic, so I watched some online videos on this Quinn torque wrench. Um, I was watching the half-inch drive. This is the 3 8 so it goes from 5 foot-pounds to uh, 100 foot-pounds. also has inch pounds, newton meters, degrees, and different things you can use it for. But this will beep when I get to the desired um, torque. So, I won't have to guess if I'm going too tight because the crush washer is going. And it goes in increments of 0.1 on the foot pound. So, 15.3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, you know, so forth. 16. And that's what these are supposed to be torqued to, or 16 foot pounds for the spark plugs. And I've, you know, I got different torque wrenches. I have the big one here, which is half inch drive, which is a buddy of mine. I have this uh, old school one. You know, these are pretty accurate, actually. I, uh, I have an inch pound and another one that are also belong to a buddy of mine. And I have an old Craftsman one over there in the toolbox, which works okay, but the handle slides up and down on. So personally, I don't have a lot of torque wrenches myself. My friend leaves, my, my sister's fiance, he leaves his torque wrenches here because he worked on his truck and car here. So he leaves them here because that's usually where he does his work at, which is perfectly fine. But I mean... This way it'll give me a digital torque wrench and it'll beep when it's at the torque I need. So let's give this a shot. Let's see how torqued I am. That's torqued. Oh, that's nice. I like that. That is really cool. So one, two of them needed more torquing, and I thought I was at the proper torque. So I like this. And this is going to be great on oil plugs and different things. It has an automatic shut off on it. Um, after two minutes, it shuts off. It's easily readable with the uh, gauge there. And like I said, it has memory functions, um, good decent beeper. I mean, I'm not saying it's anything such like a snap on or anything like that or whatnot but it's about a hundred well the coupon i got it for about eighty dollars less than what i would pay for a craftsman um about sixty dollars less than what i'd pay for a cobalt uh, i'm not sure that's a great savings but i also bought the warranty which i'm not usually a big warranty buyer per se but being harbor freight and uh, not having a lot of experience on any other electronical tools i thought a two-year Warranty for $35, which basically brought this back up to its regular $165 price point. I thought that was a good idea. So I spent it. 
And uh, now I have a torque wrench that's digital that I'll keep track of. I'll probably never need the warranty because I don't use it often, but I do use, I work on the bike at least three or four times a year doing oil changes and different things. So most of the stuff doesn't need to be torqued over 100 foot pounds. And it really, let's face it, if it has to be torqued over 100 foot pounds, I'm not overly concerned about hurting the threads in there because that means the threads are more than capable of experiencing that kind of torque. And I'm sure there's somebody out there who has a bad experience at Harbor Freight, right? I get it. Comes to the case, by the way. Um, I have some bad experience with some of their tools, but uh, there's probably somebody out there that knows exactly what you can torque spec down aluminum to before it tears the threads out. I don't know that. I am mechanically inclined, but I'm not a mechanic. I don't claim to be. So, there's that. And that's what it is. Oh no, I lost my little fuzzy. I lost my wind sock. Well, I seem to have misplaced my wind sock. There it is. <coughs> lost my dead cap. <laughs> So, spark plugs, coil packs, wires are back on, timing cover is back on, torque wrench works really good, like it. Not too bad, never had one that beat before. So now I'm going to put the covers back on the front of the bike, and then we're going to see if we can drain the oil in this thing. I won't be filming any. Okay, okay, okay. Well, got all the plastic covers back on. One broken plastic clip because Honda's a plastic fantastic. So I used a little super glue and some baking soda to make my own plastic mix up and put that back together. Everything else is back on it. I think I'll do the oil change tomorrow. I need to go inside and check the file I downloaded last night to update the uh, GPS because presently that's not working. So I must have the drive formatted incorrectly. So I'm going to go format the drive, load that back on, and come back out and see if I can't get the update to take and i think tomorrow i might work on the oil so doing good getting things done torque wrench worked awesome